History Month. This is actually the first time you've seen me in a Black History Month uh, shirt, All Black History Month. And it's very intentional. And I really just threw this shirt on because I didn't have another shirt to throw on. But Black History Month, at some point, can we get rid of it? Like, at some point? Why, why, why we got to keep getting the shortest month to celebrate our history? You got governors want to take our history out of schools. And I'm not going to be the fool to go say, yeah, we get celebrated for 28 days. So at some point, I'd like to get rid of it. It's, you know, we, we're making all these changes in the world. Can't talk about these people. Can't talk about those people. Can't say this. Can't say that. At some point, it's time to get rid of Black History Month. I get rid of Black History like they're trying to do. But Black History Month? No. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I respectfully, respectfully disagree with Draymond Green's uh, sentiments about Black History Month. I've heard a lot of people say this. Oh, we need to get rid of Black History Month. We need to get rid of Black History Month. No, no, we don't. And I'm, I'm going to tell you why. First of all, Black History Month was founded. It was first week was uh, Negro History Week was founded by brother uh, Dr. Carter G. Woodson, okay, uh, to recognize the achievements of African Americans. Uh, but also I believe that it is unnecessary to, to, to say, oh, we just need to get rid of the whole month and we need to teach black history all year. Yes, we need to teach black history all year, but it is up to black people to teach black history. You want your children to know about black history, then you need to teach them black history. Certain things you have to pay attention to and just watch, okay? It's my job to teach my children about their history. It is not the school's job to do that. I know some people may disagree with me, but if you want your children to know something, you need to teach them. You can't browbeat somebody over the head and tell them, well, we need to be teaching this all year. Well, it's too much world history for you to be teaching it all year. If you want your children to know about their history and their own culture, then you need to be teaching that to them. They should know that from their parents. The things I learned about black history and significant figures out of black history. My family taught me. My parents taught me that. I did not learn it in no school. My parents sat down and talked to me about historical black figures, which made me more inquisitive. So I went and started digging and reading on my own. You understand? And saying that, well, we get the shortest month out of the year. First of all, nobody gave you the shortest month out of the year. Like I said, Carter G. Woodson selected February because Frederick Douglass was born in February and so was Abraham Lincoln and some other um, historical black figures that he knew. That's why he selected that month. Nobody gave us anything. You think somebody who make it illegal for you to buy land would actually give you a month to celebrate your history? Come on, man. You got to be using, you got to be using your noggin. All right. And let's say this. Let's say Black History Month will be irrelevant when the majority, not all, but the majority of black people are well versed in black history. If you can tell me who invented the syringe, who invented the spatula, uh, who invented the stoplight, who invented the gas mask. Uh, who invented the toilet chamber? Things like that. Who, 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 you know what I mean? Who, hell, who invented the super soaker? Who, all of these things. If you can just ramp, if you can go up to any random black person and just say, who did this? What black person invented that? And they can just tell you right out of the back. Maybe it's irrelevant. Black History Month isn't about teaching per se. Black History Month is about teaching and celebration. The same way you don't hear anybody saying, well, we need to get rid of uh, St. Patrick's Day. We need to get rid of Christmas. We need to get rid of Mother's Day. Celebrate Mother's all year. You don't hear people saying that type of stuff. They just don't. And that's just my opinion. Maybe, you know, I, I, I don't think I'm wrong. You know, you can agree, disagree, whatever the case may be. But don't just say, well, let's celebrate it all year. If you're not celebrating it all year now, what are you talking about? 
They should be teaching that in school. Why? The same education system that misinformed you and kept people uninformed about certain things, now you trust them to teach you about your history. Does that make sense? No, it does not. You want your children and you want people to know about black history. You take accountability for that and you teach them. And leave our celebrations alone. Thank you.